record it. That's fine. All right, so so far in math class, we have talked about triangles that look like that, which is a right triangle, right? And on the right triangle, one of the things we talked about was across from the right triangle was what we call the hypotenuse. And we like to call the hypotenuse C, right? Okay, so we had the hypotenuse, which was C. Then, um, what else we had was we called our two legs A and B. Okay. Now, what was nice about the what was nice about the right triangle is it provided a couple th couple opportunities for us, right? The one first thing you guys learned was Pythagorean theorem, right? And whenever you guys have a right triangle, we're still going to do that, right? So always look for a right triangle. I love seeing if I can determine a right triangle because once I see a right triangle. First thing I'm going to look for is, do I need to use the Pythagorean theorem to find a length? Or is a length going to help me out? And if I'm not looking for a length, or I don't need to use the Pythagorean theorem, the next thing is my six trigonometric functions, right? So you can do sine. Let's call theta right here. But theta could also be there. It just all depends. Theta, remember, is going to be um, opposite over hypotenuse. You have cosine of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And you have tangent of theta, which is opposite over adjacent. Right? So that's what we've learned so far with doing this. So Katoa. Um, but this was important because this only worked when we had a right triangle. All right? Only worked when we have a right triangle. So now what we're going to do is work on triangles that are not right. Doesn't mean we're going to forget this, because this is still going to be a part of our triangles. However, now what we're going to be talking about is oblique triangles. Okay. Now, the one thing I'd really want the purpose of this is I just want to make sure you guys know how to label an oblique triangle or how it's going to work. All right. So an oblique triangle, we're still going to use A, B, and C, but now I'm going to use big letters. I'm going to use big letters for the angles. So from now on, when you guys see a capital letter, for your triangle, know that that re represents the angle, all right? Because the opposite side length is going to be, representing the length will be lowercase, okay? And please make sure you understand this is going to be consistent. If this is angle A, the side that angle A portrays to is going to be side length A. And the way that we differentiate them is capital letters for the angles, Lowercase for the sides. Is everybody cool with that? 